A few days ago on the series Star Wars Explained, we broke down exactly why Darth Sidious' lightsaber was so offensive to the Jedi. However, around halfway through that video, I stated that he would make a modification to his lightsaber after he rose as Emperor of the Galaxy. A modification that would change his last lightsaber forever. To briefly recap the lightsabers of Darth Sidious though, they were made using what is known as Electrum. Electrum in the Star Wars universe was an extremely rare metal that was gifted to Jedi Masters once they achieved a certain rank and notoriety after becoming a master. It was at this point where it became the Jedi Master's choice if they were going to construct another lightsaber out of the metal or not. The metal was set aside to denote an extremely powerful member of the Jedi Order. Therefore, why Mace Windu is the most famous Jedi to ever possess an Electrum lightsaber, with Windu choosing to rebuild a lightsaber made of the material after achieving the rank of Jedi Council Member. Darth Sidious's lightsabers, though, were completely covered in the metal, and as we brought broke down in the previous video, this was sort of an insult to the Jedi, to explain to them that he was far more a master of the Force than any Jedi Master. As we learned in Revenge of the Sith, as well as in the Clone Wars series, Darth Sidious did not have one, but two lightsabers covered in Electrum. Of course, his first lightsaber, though, was lost in his duel with Mace Windu. It was Darth Sidious's second lightsaber, though, that he would use to duel Yoda, and a lightsaber that he would keep with him over his time as the Sith Emperor of the Galaxy, although he would rarely use it. As he instead hoped to fall back on his force abilities. But even more than this, and even more rare, Darth Sidious was barely in any combat during his time as Emperor. And when he was, again, he would fall back on his force abilities rather than a lightsaber, although on some occasions he would wield it. After the Jedi Order fell though, Darth Sidious would ultimately choose to make another modification to this lightsaber. Instead of keeping his weapon finished in a gold color, he chose to cover it in an unknown material. An unknown material that was black in coloration. Why this was, we ultimately don't know. However, we can speculate. Again, Darth Sidious built his lightsabers to specifically insult the Jedi. But after the Jedi were seemingly wiped from the star maps with Order 66, maybe Darth Sidious saw no need to keep it as an insult to a dead order. It no longer signified the Sith's goal of conquering the Jedi. Instead, perhaps Sidious covering his lightsaber in this dark material signified the reign of the Sith, and that the Sith would no longer be in hiding. This is, of course, also why Darth Sidious began wearing Sith robes instead of other material that he wore as the Chancellor, as his identity as a Sith Lord, although somewhat as a secret, was not as much so as it was when he was Chancellor. Again, it was sort of an open mockery to the public of the galaxy rather than the Jedi. And of course, Sidious did little to think of the public as any threat to his reign. Again though, the lightsaber that Sidious wields over his time as the Emperor is the same lightsaber that he used against Yoda. However, it's different in coloration. Again, I believe Darth Sidious coated it in a black color to signify his ascension to the one true Dark Lord and ruler over the entire galaxy. The decision to alter and cover his lightsaber ultimately being very symbolic. But why do you guys think the real reason was that Darth Sidious covered his lightsaber in an unknown black material? And why was this the decision that he ultimately made after becoming the one Dark Lord? Do you think it was symbolic or do you think it was for another yet unknown reason? Also, did you know about this fact about Palpatine? Palpatine's lightsaber before this video. As always my friends, thank you so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to check out my other channel, The Marvelous Wave, where we talk all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including news, breakdowns, and theories about all upcoming and past Marvel movies. Link to the channel is in the description below.